Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here. Today I'm going to talk about the smallest PCs that they make. Over the last few years they've been making smaller and smaller form factor PCs that have been great if you don't have a lot of desktop space. Plus, you know, who wants a huge tower if you don't need one? Well now they actually make something called the Mini Desktop Stick PC or variations of that name. Basically, you'll find them under things called stick PCs. These are really small PCs. Now, they're bigger than a USB flash drive, but it's kind of the same sort of thing. It will fit in your hand, it will fit in your pocket, and it has a uh, HDMI video connector on the end of it, and it has a USB connector on it. So you can connect it to a monitor, into a keyboard, into a mouse. Now, the big advantage to these are they are very portable. The disadvantage, of course, is you need a monitor or a TV to plug it into. So if you're carrying it around, you really don't want to carry around a full-size monitor or TV with you. But if you're going between locations where you have access to one of these things, you can use this PC. The other big advantage of it is it's not a real powerful PC, but you can do things like remote access or VPN or web browsing on it. This means you can isolate those functions. For example, if you need to log into work using remote desktop and you want to keep your remote desktop stuff separate because it's work and you don't want to you don't want to be logging into your home computer and risk a virus getting on your home computer and then you log in remotely and maybe cause problems on your work network. So you want to maybe keep those two things separate. A stick PC may be the best option for you. Because what you can do is you can actually keep this stick PC separate and you can plug it into the same monitor that you use your regular computer on. A lot of computer monitors will actually have multiple HDMI uh, inputs on them now. And so you could stick this into a secondary input or you could use it even on your TV. And then you could use a separate keyboard and mouse for it if you want. That way you can keep your work computing separate from your home computer but you don't need a full-size desktop or full-size laptop to do it necessarily. Another thing you could use a stick PC for is doing your banking on it or, or doing web browsing on very secure or financial sites. The advantage to this is you're not doing general web browsing on this separate stick PC. So for example, if you're web browsing and doing searches on Google, you might click on some website that may infect your machine. Then you go onto your banking site and you might compromise your password or your account. With a separate stick PC, you keep these types of transactions separate, or you could if you wanted to. Those are just a few examples of how you might use a stick PC. The great thing is they're really small, they're really portable, and you can set them aside for specific tasks that you want to keep separate from what you're doing on your normal computer or computers. And it's not as big as a laptop. Another thing you could use a stick PC for is like a media center with your TV set. You could, could use it um, so you could browse the web on your TV set. You could use it if you wanted a small little area where you could browse the web but you didn't want a PC that had a bigger footprint or took up more space. And the great thing about stick PCs is you can get them for under a hundred dollars and you can get them that will want run Windows 10 just like your regular PC might be running. I'm Mungo Dark Matter and this has been Dark Matters and whatever you do enjoy technology.